the wait is officially over. Two very long years and we can now say the 149th Open Championship is complete here at Royal St George's. Our new Champion Golfer of the Year, Colin Morikawa. What a day it was in the absolute sunshine here in Sandwich. You couldn't have painted a better picture. Colin Morikawa, he's done it again. He's won his second major championship on debut as well. And Oh, while we're here, Matthias Schmidt's going to interrupt uh, our new silver medalist. Matthias, how does that feel, mate, to, to be the low amateur here? Yeah, obviously it feels great. I mean, as an amateur, that's the goal coming, coming here, and I'm glad I could achieve that. Talk us through this amazing week. Obviously, it's been a long time since the Open. How was your experience here at Royal St George's? Oh, you know, it's been beautiful. I mean, uh, Thursday didn't play well. I had a bad finish, and I felt terrible, but... Friday turned my week around and I'm, I'm glad I'm here now and have the silver medal in my pocket. Wow, well, let's get it out. Where is that thing? You know, we want to see the, we want to see it glistening. Ooh, that is fantastic. Get, a, get an eye on that. The likes of your Rory McElroy's, Justin Rose, Matt Fitzpatrick's and Tom Lewis won it here. How does it, cool, how does it feel to be in that company? Uh, you know, uh, it's a great list to be a part of and I hope in the future I can join uh, many more similar lists <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of being on a list what was it like being out there in the middle when Colin was awarded the claret jug as well oh it's amazing so many fans out here and uh oh, it was goosebumps everywhere like it was incredible for me I'm sure everyone in Germany is very proud and it was great to watch you this week so enjoy the occasion and I'm sure we'll see you very soon thank you very much thank you thanks guys well done thank you. perfect thank you. very good see you soon. yeah we'll see you soon <laughs> he was actually um one of our early interviews back at the Amateur Championship a few years ago in Port Marnock. Had a lot of fun with him. Seriously great guy. But as we make our way into recording, let's go see where the magic Morikawa is right now. He's doing the loops. As we all know, they come into recorders and then they get hounded by the media. I'm very excited to believe that we will be having a chat with our champion very shortly, but how amazing is it? On debut here at the Open, he becomes the first male golfer to win two majors in his first ever appearance. Absolutely sensational. He's been into Sky Sports, he's got NBC, he's got TV Asahi, and then the BBC. There's Mike Woodcock, in charge of the media. Looking good in the sunshine, but Morikawa, it's amazing to look at what he's done so far and what he can achieve in the future. The last player to win on debut at the Open Championship was Ben Curtis back in 2003. And guess where that was? Right here at Royal St George's. Absolutely sensational. And he's only the second person to do it in 46 years since Tom Watson. The accolades just keep on coming. There he is. A little bit of FaceTime work. There he goes. <laughs> oh, the excitement. I believe that is his partner on the phone. He could not be happier. His partner and family all there with the claret jug in hand. Can you imagine what he's feeling? What were you doing at home when you were age 24 years old? <laughs> He certainly winning, wasn't winning a claret jug like this kid. So young, so talented. The kid from Los Angeles, California, turned professional in 2019. Wow, has he achieved so much since then. It only took him six pro starts for the youngster to clinch his first PGA Tour victory. And now he's got two majors under the belt. What a day it has been. It looks like we might be on the line here. Oh, it's our shot. It's our shot with the big guy. <laughs> Colin. How are you doing? Colin Morikawa, uh, the champion golfer of the year. <laughs> Love it. You I beauty, love the way you how does that feel? Oh, it's amazing. Um, so much hard work put, was put into this, especially after last week at the Scottish. Um, but when I hear that, champion golfer of the year, um, it gives me chills. You know, to hold the Claret Jug, to be here in England, um, winning my second major with my first British, uh, 
special. The claret jug's glistening in the sunshine. Your smile's been glistening in front of some amazing fans. Where does this moment um, sit in your career? So oh, it's, it's definitely up there. Um, top three, probably top two, uh, right next to the PGA. Um, yeah, there's nothing like these majors. You know, we only get four year. Obviously, we got six this season. Um, but only having four year, it just makes it that much tougher. And you look forward to these weeks and you see guys that are just excited about playing. And um, they're obviously starting my calendar and hopefully we can just keep playing well in these. As you look around, there's swarms of media, um, so much going on. Can you actually soak in what you've just achieved here at Royal St. George's? No, I don't think I'll be able to soak it in for a while. Um, I wasn't able to do that at the PGA just because, like, you know, our schedule, it's just continuous golf. Uh, we've got the Olympics in a week and a half. And uh, I got to get focused on playing for the Team USA. But, you know, I'm going to try and enjoy this one. Uh, I think I really owe it to myself to enjoy it, to, to really just sit back and um, realize what I've done and, and look forward to the future. A big question uh, I always like to ask our champion golfers of the year is, um, what are you going to drink out of that thing now that you've <laughs> won it? I don't know, but it's JJ's birthday. It's, uh, we've got a long, long trip. Uh, back to the U.S., so uh, drinks will be flowing for a long, long time, I promise you that. Well, there we go. Please enjoy them. Uh, we're going to take you into the media den now to face the world, but well done, Colin. It's been a pleasure to watch you. Thank you. <laughs> JJ's birthday as well, 39 years old. What a day for, for Team Morikawa. Such a young man, such good poise on camera, and great to see him winning for fun. We've got plenty to talk about um, with Colin. Like, let's let's go back to the golf course. It was such a quiet start, um, but then at the seventh hole, there was a two-shot swing. Um, obviously, Louis Ustase and bogeyed, and then Colin Mar Morikawa went birdie, 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 and it was his championship from there. So clinical, so professional from the young, young American but as you as you can see we've taken you behind the scenes all week and it's been an absolute pleasure to do so your champion golfer of the year facing the world's media right now is Colin Morikawa